Thank you for being here today. I appreciate it so much. It is January, so we know what time it is. We are ramping up for the 34th annual um, Women in Aviation International Conference. Ooh. Yay, it's so exciting. So I am going to go ahead and share my screen. If you would let me know that you see that, I would greatly appreciate it. Yes. Oh. Let's see, which screen? I'm sharing the wrong screen. Are you seeing? I'm seeing a PowerPoint slideshow. Seeing a PowerPoint. Okay, perfect. Wonderful. All right. So today we're talking about California Dreaming, all things conference. This year's conference is going to be at the Long Beach Convention Center in Long Beach, California on February 23rd through the 25th of 2023. If you've never been to Long Beach, it is beautiful. Um, it is one of my favorite places to go for conference. I think the last time that I went there, I actually went fishing, um, convinced a guy on the dock when I was walking. I was like, oh, you're fishing. Can I join you? And he did. He let me. It was a lot of fun. Um, so if you have not registered for conference, there is still time to register. The first thing you want to do is you want to navigate to the WAI.org webpage, go to events, uh, from the events dropdown, you'll go to conference, the 2023 WAI conference, and then you will click on registration, conference registration, that pink button there, very important. So we have gotten through our early bird registration and now we are on to general registration from January 18th through February 13th. It ends at midnight. There will be no refunds after February 13th. So make sure that you are getting your registration done by then. Um, full registration includes your tickets for the connect reception, your luncheon and the celebration dinners. Uh, members do receive a discount for conference. Uh, we do have one day passes as well as student passes and a military rate. After February 4th, or I'm sorry, effective February 14th, uh, the on site registration pricing does come into effect. So, again, make sure you get registered early so that you can take advantage of those discounted prices. We do have additional opportunities at conference as you're registering. When you're going through the registration process, you will see these additional opportunities on your registration. Unfortunately, the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory has sold out. There are no more tickets for that. However, our conference team is absolutely amazing. They have secured a bigger boat. So we have additional seats for the Harbor Cruise. If you were unable to secure seats when you first uh, registered for conference, please, please, please go back into your registration or contact us and we can get you registered for that Harbor Cruise. There is an additional fee for the Harbor Cruise. It's $105 per person that pays for your meal as well as the cruise. So um, we do have those additional seats. Make sure you take advantage of that. There are some professional development seminars. Again, those are can be found during your registration. You can select those professional development seminars as you are clicking through your registration. The first is going to be developing, retaining, and supporting women in the workplace. That's presented by Nicole Bennett from Boeing. That is $30. Um, that session is going to be on Thursday morning from 8.30 to 10.30. And then we're presenting Making More Minutes by Tammy Jones of the DOT on Thursday, the 23rd from 11 to 1, also $30. And pre-registration is required for both of those sessions. We have a ton of volunteer opportunities at conference. And to be very honest, I need everyone to remember that you have a small but mighty team of WAI workers that are putting this conference together. So the first thing that we ask for as you are going through registration is grace. Um, we are doing our best to make sure that every request is handled as expediently as possible. However, remember that there are 5,000 requests that are coming at our small but mighty team pretty much at the same time. So we are doing the best to make sure that we are giving each individual the attention that you deserve and making sure that you're taking care of. In order to make sure that we have a successful conference, we rely on our 
amazing WAI volunteers. We need volunteers like you to ensure that this is the best conference ever. And from the numbers, it looks like it's going to be, it looks like we're gonna have record attendance. So again, as you are going through your conference registration, volunteer is going to be available. From your conference registration page, you should have an area to enter your badge number and log into your profile. From there, you should find an attendee service center tab. There's a drop down from that tab that will show you the volunteer service center. You'll click on this and then choose which sessions or events you would like to volunteer for at this year's conference. That way you can choose where you would like to go if you have a particular session that you would like to attend, but you would also like to be a room monitor for that kills two birds with one stone. Or you can attend our Girls in Aviation Day on Saturday, which our Stars of the North is helping with, I believe. They're also putting on our how to, uh, how to host an amazing Girls in Aviation Day session, which we'll get to in a minute. And we want to thank everyone for being so willing to be one of the WA Army that helps us ensure that our conference runs smoothly and successfully each year. We would absolutely not be able to do this without you. Do we have any deadlines? And the answer to that is yes. January 25th is the deadline for several things with regards to chapters. Um, the Dorothy Hilbert Chapter Volunteer of the Year Award nominations are due January 25th. Um, if you have a WAI Wonder Woman or Wonder Person in your chapter that is absolutely phenomenal, that volunteer that just comes through when you need them without having to ask. They put in that extra work. We want to hear about them. They've gone above and beyond. Um, we can have one uh, member submitted per chapter. It says to go via the link, but this is a PowerPoint, so there's no link on this webinar PowerPoint. If you need the request forms, just email me and I will get those request forms over to you and you can nominate that volunteer. We love to give out these awards. We love to recognize these members and these volunteers members. They deserve it because they're putting in so much work. Again, for January 25th, the chapter logo contest. The grand prize for this is worth $350. We wanna make sure that we give away some really fun stuff. So send your logo to me, your customized logo um, to me by January 25th. And this is gonna be in the membership booth. So we will have a running slide of all of our entries that come in and our members are going to vote on that during conference. There will be a, a voting ballot box at the membership desk where everyone's going to vote on their favorite chapter logo. The winner is going to be notified and we will ship them their customized Women in Aviation International chapter banner to utilize at all of their events. Make sure that you send that logo to me uh, by January 25th. I've got a file folder going and we'll create that cool PowerPoint for you so that you can advertise your chapter. And speaking of advertising your chapter, you have the opportunity to showcase your wonderful selves at the chapter showcase. So there are a couple of forms. Um, again, email me because I can't link this on the PowerPoint for a webinar to get those forms and we will get you all set up. Your chapter is invited and encouraged to participate in the chapter showcase. Um, and while you're in the membership booth spotlighting your chapter, you'll have the great opportunity to greet current and prospective chapter members within your area who might not know that your chapter is there. Um, and as well as interact with other chapters and conference, conference attendees. The most important feature of your chapter showcase will be the presence of your chapter members in the booth. In addition to your presence, you may showcase your chapter as simply or as elaborately as you choose. So bring your swag, bring your flag if you're international, bring, bring whatever you would like to highlight who you are and what you're doing, what you're putting out into your community. Let's show the attendees how amazing it is to be a part of a chapter and why they should join. I just ran the numbers for our 16,000 WAI members. Out of that 16,000 members, we have approximately 6,300 of those members that are actively engaged in chapters. So that's, that's a good number. 
but it's always something that we can grow. So let's show them how, how wonderful it is to be connected locally. And now we're in Long Beach. So what do we do? The first thing that we do is the kickoff to conference. So the official dates that we have listed everywhere that you're gonna see when conference starts is gonna be January 23rd. But the kickoff is the 22nd at 6.30 PM. There is the Chapter Connect reception. We'll kick off the conference with the best party in town. Now, this is an RSVP required event. I have been sending out to all 6,400 members. Uh, the first link did not work. My apologies. We had some technical difficulties uh, through our conference link. However, we did get that fixed. So check your email and make sure that you're receiving that, that link to the Chapter Connect reception. If you have not received that, please don't hesitate to let me know and I will make sure that you have that link. If your chapter members have not received that, again, just contact myself or Rory Ainbinder and we will get you connected to that so that you can get registered. You must be registered for the conference in order to attend the chapter re reception. Chapter conference events. I'm super excited. This is going to be my very, very first WAA chapter leadership workshop. I'm hoping that I can present some great materials to you. And I'm very excited to present a guest speaker. Um, I came across this young lady through another event um, with another organization that I work for. And she was so amazing that I had to invite her. So the first event for chapters is going to be on Thursday from 11, uh, I'm sorry, from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Thursday, February 23rd. We're sponsored by JetBlue, and that's the WAI Chapter Leadership Workshop. We're going to discuss the most common challenges faced by chapter leaders, give you chapter management tools, operational ideas, include an interactive workshop, have an amazing guest speaker, and I have a ton of announcements and a ton of ideas and things that are going to be coming out here very, very soon to the chapters, new resources, new tools, um, things for you to work with as your chapters, really exciting stuff. Sarah, the pivoter Calmetta is going to be our guest speaker. She is absolutely fantastic. Um, I cannot wait for y'all to meet her. Uh, she, just in conversations with her, some of the little tidbits that she's given me have already helped me in my work life and my leadership role. So I'm hoping that she is going to be able to give you some great stuff to, to go home with. Um, the second thing that we have is going to be our chapter fundraising tips, tools, and strategies. Women in Aviation International, we have our very own Chief Growth Officer, Stephanie Kenyon, presenting how to communicate to others why to support WAI at the chapter level. In the session, we're going to be talking about the importance of how why our donors need to know how to donate and why to donate and what makes us different from other aviation-centric nonprofits. You'll learn some best ways to use, uh, raise money for your local chapters, hear from other chapter leaders who have led successful fundraisers in their own communities. It's gonna be a really good discussion, as well as we'll have some new tools for you to take home with you uh, for your toolbox. We are having hosted by the fabulous Stars of the North, planning and hosting an outstanding Girls in Aviation Day event. Girls in Aviation Day, always fun and engaging to inspire and connect with local girls and boys ages eight to 17 in your local community. Learning how to plan and host an outstanding Girls in Aviation Day event for September 23rd, 2023. And we're already in the planning stages for 2023. We're super excited. and. I can't wait, Jessica, to see what Annie is putting out this year. She is a fabulous resource. It's, I'm so excited. Next, we have how to start a WAI chapter. We're speaking to chapter leaders here, but we can always use some help there, particularly myself. I could use some help there if anyone wants to come and join me. Uh, with these individuals who are interested in starting a chapter who are attending the conference, I'm going to be presenting to them about 
who we are and what we do and why we have chapters and why chapters are so amazing and so important to the WAI mission. Because in all honesty, the chapters are the heartbeat of WAI. So we're going to get that message out there. We're going to make sure these folks understand why that's so important and get them out into their communities and get active and involved. And then brand new to this year, uh, we're going to have our first ever student and collegiate chapter workshop. We've got some guest speakers that will be joining me to talk about the unique structure of the operation for student and collegiate chapters. It's gonna be an interactive se session with a panel of student and collegiate chapter leaders to talk about the challenges and opportunities that these leaders face. They will offer their experiences and expertise and provide tools that will help the collegiate uh, leaders and their teams lead their student and collegiate chapters with confidence. But wait, there is more. So I want to make sure that everyone is aware of how to navigate all of the events that are going on with conference because there's a ton and sometimes um, things can get a little overwhelming and a little confusing. So make sure that we're using our resources properly. Again, if we're going to that WAI.org and to the conference page, you'll see on the right hand side, there's a whole list going there underneath conference. So I've got those arrows going down, utilize all of those links. So you've got your um, initial conference, 2023 Women in Aviation International Conference page, and then the registration page. Each of those are links to different pages. Conference hotels, um, I know that I have heard word on the street that hotels are tight. I'm so sorry about that. Um, please know that that is not us, that is hotels. Um, and that is also our amazing members and their attendance and the fact that they book early. We are working on additional blocks, but there are other references on that page to additional resources for hotels for you. There's a conference overview. You can find your sponsors. You can find FAQs, frequently asked questions. There's links to our educational sessions, um, exhibits, exhibitors, more about Girls in Aviation Day, industry briefings, how to invest in a student. Um, and if you are a student, how to request um, potential sponsorship. Now I will, I want to pause there and say, we will do our best to make sure that we are matching up students with sponsors to get as many students as possible to the conference but we cannot guarantee that there are always enough sponsors for the requests that we receive. We really, really try and we do our best, but if we can't, I apologize to those students that are out there. We try not to disappoint. Um, keynote speakers are there, our media, our professional development seminars, sponsorships, uh, opportunities, tours, the Pioneer Hall of Fame for 2023, which there are some fabulous inductees this year, and then information on the 2023 WAI Jazz with Wings Band. And if you didn't know how fabulous WAI is, we even have our own jazz band. I mean, come on, we're pretty cool. And there's still more. So Girls in Aviation Day Long Beach, a tradition that we started a few years ago. So not only do we have our September event, we now host an annual event during our WAI conference for the local community. This is going to be occurring on Saturday, February 25th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. We have a lot of volunteers that are needed. So if you are interested in volunteering, please register as you are going through your conference registration. We could use as many hands as possible to make sure that this is a fabulous experience for these young people to get them engaged and, and exposed to aviation and aerospace opportunities. And still more, our keynote speeches from Maya Ghazal, Dr. Candace Gibbons, Dr. Michelle Parker, Rexy Roll, Ken, uh, I'm sorry, Colonel Merrill Tingstall, uh, Hoi Kim Tron, Paige Stanton Wilson, and Dr. Susan Ying. There are 35 diverse educational sessions ranging from professional development to mindfulness of self to um, fertility issues in the military, I, we, it covers the gambit. There's, there's just so much 
great educational content this year. I, they amaze me. This conference team amazes me with the, the work that they put into finding great, great sessions to come to you. There are hundreds of exhibitors and thousands of potential new friends, but really there's only one annual, one 34th annual Women in Aviation International Conference. So that is the end of the Jesse Spiel for conference this year. However, I do want to say there's a lot of other things going on. I hear um, a little bird has told me that someone um, may have even invented a Spotify playlist to go along with conference on our app. So you've got girl power going on all the time. Um, yeah, so super fun stuff that's coming for conference. We're really working hard for you. Um, oh, I've got someone that came in while I was giving my presentation. Angelica, I am so sorry. I didn't have a partner in crime to help me manage this time. No worries, that's okay, thank you. I'm so sorry I didn't get you. Did you at least get to hear the presentation? Or were you in a waiting room? Oh, I think I was in the waiting room, but that's okay. Burn it. 